So the first step for me to be taking the engine out is I'm going to take the bumper off and uh, make the rear apron removable. All right, so got the bumper off. It was held on one bolt on this side and two on the other, just on this flange right here. And I got the fender off as well. Man, this thing had some rusty bolts. So got those off after a long time and uh, actually ended up using a, a hacksaw blade on one of them just because, man, I couldn't get it out. That was holding the running board on. So now I am going to be drilling out the uh, rear apron and um, there's a, a zillion spot welds here and I also have to get into this little guy right here. So I've heard. So this is my first time doing this and um, follow along. So after drilling out all the, the spot welds, you can see it's loose. I did the other side as well. And then there's a little uh, spot weld kind of holding together right there. And also as we peek in, there's this material in here. This was already like this. I didn't have to do anything on this side. Uh, but what I had to do on the opposite side is I basically just kind of cut straight down. And you can see it's, it's loose right there. So now I'm gonna try and lift it off one-handed. I haven't lifted it off yet. So let's see what happens. It may not work. Or it may. We're almost there. I don't really care too much about it, <laughs> to be honest. So, Bondo and, and Rusty. Well, just mostly Bondo. Looks like it's got hit in the rear or something and it was kind of a demonstration vehicle to show kids how to work on cars so I'm pretty stoked it's out so now there's the engine I can actually just slide it forward and install the Subaru slide it in I think that's well worth the effort of doing doing this well we'll see at the end if it is or not but um I'm gonna clean this up and make it way better than it is right now. Maybe take it down to bare metal and just have it rusty. I think that would be better. <laughs> anyway, next up, we're gonna be pulling the engine. So I'm looking forward to that, getting the wiring labeled and then disconnecting and pulling the engine out. 